Okay, I'm starting this by saying, like, I really like Linkin Park, um, but I'm not, I don't know the full history of the band, so if you can leave comments below that can add to the story, that's fine. But, uh, yeah, I really enjoyed Linkin Park. In fact, as they've made a lot of great songs, they did great, they had a, that great collabo album Jay-Z, but my favorite song is not actually Linkin Park, it's their offshoot band, Fort Minor. With remember the name. Remember the name is fantastic. I love that song. And as great as Lincoln Park is, that Fort Minor track, oh, it's been fuego. But let's get into this. So uh, Chester Bennington's Mom Feels Betrayed by Lincoln Park over hurtful Emily Armstrong replacement. Quote, I feel like they're trying very hard to erase the past, Susan Eubanks said of the band. And his son said the same thing. So listen, I don't think this was an easy decision for Lincoln Park. Chester died in, in 2017. That's seven years ago. And I'm sure over those years, they probably had a lot of requests from just different festivals like Coachella say, hey, would you glad guys get back together and perform, like doing one-off, right? And I'm sure they said no. It was like, no, we got to honor Chester. We made a promise. No, we can't never replace Chester. But here's the thing. Chester, like I said, died seven years ago, but the checks keep coming. You got to pay your mortgage. You got to pay your apartment uh, rent. You got to... If you, you got maybe sending kids to private school, maybe got a kid out of wedlock, so you're paying child support, maybe got a divorce, got to pay alimony. Those checks keep coming. The, you got to keep the lights on. And unfortunately for Lincoln Park, they're in the era of streaming where Spotify and some of these other streaming platforms don't pay crap. <laughs> so back in the day, like when John Bottom died, the drummer of Led Zeppelin, um, Page and Plant, John Paul Jones said they're not going to make another album without John, without um uh, bottom, but back then album sales were still album sales. So Led Zeppelin and there and they was constantly being played on the on the radio. So even from album sales, even though Page and Plant they did other stuff and eventually they kind of collaborated again, they still made a lot of money off their albums. Um, Beastie Boys same thing. Um, Adam Yock died, but Mike D and uh, King at Rock said no, we're not gonna do another album about Adam. And Adam, and rightfully so, because Adam, Adam was the creative director in a lot of ways, and they never did another thing. They never done another Beastie Boys project with another member or just as a duo. They, they honored Adam. Now they could have, they probably invested their money well, maybe, but again, they just never did it. A lot of bands don't. A lot of bands don't do that. Like Bruce Springsteen loved Clarence Clemens. He loved Clarence Clemens. Clarence died. They replaced. Uh, Clarence with his nephew, I think, and and Bruce also lost other members too, but they, he kept going. Uh, the Rolling Stones, the first death was uh, Brian Jones, um, who found who founded the band. They kept going. Bill Wyman left the band. They kept going. Charlie Watts, the beloved Charlie Watts, died. The drummer died. They kept going. This is what they do. Bands make money performing. Like, what was, what was Lincoln Park going to do? Like, become accountants? Like, that's not that's not who they are. But like I said, I don't think it was an easy decision. That's why they went with a female lead singer. I said, listen, we can never replace Chester. And if we did replace Chester with a guy who sounds just like him, it's going to be bad. So why don't we try a female, right? So they got a new female vocalist who has her own set of controversies, which is interesting. Um, so I guess they thought, okay, we can't replace Chester, so let's get a woman. Um, but no matter what they did, his Chester's family and probably the fans as well is going, hey, man. You guys say you weren't going to perform again. But like I said, what are they going to do? Those guys were in their early 30s, like 39, 40 when he died. And now they're like 46, 47. They're performers. These guys can perform until way into their 60s. You, I can, you can never expect these guys just to sit around and just say, hey, well, we're just, we can't do this because of Chester. No, so what can they do? Ah, not much. Like, I'm sure they tried to apologize. It's not working. You know, hopefully they can bridge a gap somehow with the family. Maybe they can cut the family in. Like if they go on tour, maybe they can give a cut of the tour, like Chester's tour profits to the family. You know, maybe they can do that. Maybe the family, some of them family members will probably take that check. Others may not. It's a tough deal. So if you're a fan of Lincoln Park, first of all, what's your favorite Lincoln Park song? But second, if you know more about this story, let me know. You know, I can, you know, maybe you can fill in the blanks. Maybe I missed something. But like I said, I, I really, I really think it was hard for them. And over the years, I'm sure every year a, a festival called them saying, hey, would you make and uh, would you perform at this festival? And I'm sure they was offering offering big checks. And maybe those are check those maybe those are offer where they said they said like, wow, 
they're offering this much money for us to perform. It's like, that's the most money we've made ever. So should it be about money? No. Should you honor your fallen comrade? Yeah. But these guys are in their 40s and they also got families. So what could they have done? They could have changed their name, but the brand was Lincoln Park. Even if they went on to as Fort Minor, people would say, well, who's Fort Minor? But they know Lincoln Park. It's a, it's a tough call. You know, there's no winners here. And uh, rest in peace to Chester Bennington. But even then, I think he would understand that the band had to go on. You know, it took seven years, but it probably wasn't an easy decision.